Hello beauties and welcome to the channel. Today we are doing some Kathy Cat eyeshadows. So let's do this. Here today we have two stunning new Kathy Cat products. These are called the Kathy Cat Shadow Gaze Matte Color Stick. So to me it's very similar to an eye crayon, like an eyeshadow crayon, which I have such nostalgic memories of because we used to have them back when I first started selling Avon. They were one of my top selling products. Products, and they were just so much fun to use and actually really easy to use. Now this is not quite a first impressions. I actually opened these up during my last live stream, uh, but I did only do a swatch on them and I didn't apply them on my eyes. So today we're going to try it out on my eyes. I am excited to do that. These are an easy to use matte shadow stick color that's supposed to define your eyes for all day play. They say that once it sets, it will not smudge nor budge. So that's excellent because I've just gone back and to dance and the last thing I want is melting makeup. So this is all wonderful things. There are a total of eight different shades and you can find them by clicking the link in the description box to see all different eight shades. We're going to be testing out the eyeshadow sticks as well as this elevated curler. Let's first open these up. I did get two shades, and as I did mention, there are a total of eight different shades. The shades that I got was Azure and also Berry. So the way, reason why I got it, I figured that Berry could be like an all-over color, and then Azure, which is more like a gray, it's going to be more of a corner of the eye or even like a liner, because when I swatched these, oh my gosh, guys, they glide on so easily, so smooth. I was like really impressed. Then of course we're going to finish the look today with our Kathy Cat uh, mascara. This is the Curl and Flare Mascara which I do have a full length video on this one as well as I did a comparison video on this with the Cashmere Mascara. I already have a semi foundation and concealer done. What I have on my face today is the Magix Tint Oil Free Tint and Moisturizer and this is in the shade Light Medium. I often reach for that because it just feels so good on and I like how it's very sheer and buildable. And then as a concealer today for something different, I actually have the Match Wand Stick in Vanilla. As you can see, this is my very tail, tail, tail end of it. There is nothing left. And I do, yes, I did rebuy this. I have another one ready to go once I finish scraping down the last bits of this. So let's just start with a quick swatch of this. So here is Berry. Like, look at how easy that glides on. And it's not an insanely and gorgeous color. It's so pretty. Kind of matches my shirt, actually. And then we also have the Azure. Like a really nice, nice, nice color. They don't have a pure black, which I guess is okay if it's supposed to be an eyeshadow. I'm just thinking from an eyeliner perspective how much I would like it. Uh, what I really do like about these as well is that they are a twist up so I don't have to worry about sharpening it. Now, as a liner, I don't know how long it would be. It would last for in the sense of a nice point, but for a shadow stick, it's gonna be great. Let's curl my lashes and then we'll go try this out. But today I'm just going to try out this elevated one that came with it. I have searched on the website and I didn't see the elevated lash curl is on sale separately, but for the shadow sticks, they are regular price $24. And as always, there's often a lot of different sales that go on on the Avon website. So now, Let's get a lash curling. So what I do like about the lash curler, it is a tear and apparently it's supposed to help with giving you a better lash. And they do suggest to crimp it in three separate spots. I will try. I have pretty short lashes. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to try. If it's actually bigger than what I'm used to. It feels kind of weird. Had to bring up the compact. One, two, three. Curling my lashes is one of those things that I always have to do to help keep my eyes looking awake. All right, so curled, not curled. Did a good job of curling the lash. I feel like it's a little bit clunky. I just, I'm not used to how to hold it yet, I guess. I, I, I need to practice a little bit more. And because the crimping section, it is thicker, I feel like I don't have a lot of movement to do that three-part crimp because of how short my lashes are. But that's okay. It still did a decent job. Of curl my lashes. It's actually a very natural curl, which is nice. So it's not like a check mark, like like that. It's a quite a natural curl, which I do would like. All right, let's do the other side. Done. The other side is now done. It's okay. I, I I need to try it a few more times first before I actually form an opinion about it. So it's a good thing I'm not doing a full video on this eyelash curler. It, but it does feel a little awkward in my hands. Maybe it's just something I'm not used to. All right, let's move into the good stuff now. Let's move on into this uh, shadow stick. So let's take a little sniff. I don't remember if I smelled it during my live stream. I don't really smell anything. 
but this is the berry. And so let's apply it on my eyes. Oh, look how easy that glides on. So they were saying that, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. How bright is that? Because there's like absolutely no tugging whatsoever. I'm going to go do a little bit under my eye here. And then I'm going to blend it out in a minute. This will be really fun, especially for um, Halloween, especially if they have other colors too. Oh my goodness. Wow, this feels incredible. Ooh, it is so bright. It's much more brighter than what I thought it would be. Wow, and I have no primer on. That's the thing. Now, there's two ways that you can blend it. You can either just use your fingers, like so, and they say you want to do it before it sets because once it sets, it doesn't move. So we're going to test it to see here if it'll move once it sets. Actually, you know what? It's barely moving now. Yeah, let's go wait a little bit more and we'll see. I can blend it with my finger or I can use a brush and blend it that way. I think using the finger takes more of the product off and softens it more. So it depends on the type of look that you're going for. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to use the Azure. This as a liner and then also a little bit on the outside here. Oh my gosh, I love it as a liner. Oh, look how intense that color is. What? I really like it. It glides on so smooth. On this side, I'm just gonna do the corner first. I'm barely tapping and then I'm just using my finger to smudge it out. I love how smooth this is. I cannot get over how smooth this is. I wish this came in black. Oh my gosh. Guys, guys, look at that. What? What? It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I, 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 I can't even. This is, it, it is so gorgeous. It is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I'm loving the fact that I could smoke it out. So you can either do a nice smoky look, like a very soft smoke like this, or you can do more of a clean line. I am, um, hello, loving this. I'm gonna smoke this out a little bit. Just blend, 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 blend. What do you think? Oh my gosh. I really, really love how easy it went on. I, I, I can't even, like, it blended really nice too. Okay, let's finish the look with Kathy Cat. I feel like mascara really does finish a look. I also added a little bit of this FMG Glimmer Powder Blush, which is something I've been reaching for constantly because I just love how it looks for fall. And this is in the shade Cranberry Crush. It is gorgeous. And I just threw on some lipstick, the FMG Glitter Satin Lipstick, in both Hibiscus as my base and then topping it off with a little bit of Violet's Night. And this is the look with slightly wet hair. <laughs> but let's take a look at what it looks like with natural lighting. All right, oh my gosh, guys. In natural light, it's even more gorgeous. So because this is supposed to not budge, long lasting, I'm gonna expect it to really not crease either. We're going to touch back in at the end of the day to see how it lasts. So now it's been about 10-ish hours or so since I've put on my makeup and I have to say it stayed on quite well. There is a little bit of a creasing line here, more on one side than the other side. I wonder why I did different. But anyways, overall, I'm really, really happy with these eyeshadow sticks. They went on so well, so easily. And even on my hand, like my arm, I've been doing things all day long and it has not smudged. So overall, in general, I am really, really, really happy with it. If you do have oilier eyelids, you might want to use a primer before using this. If, you're, if your product tends to move a lot, that might help because it is a more moist product. And um, with the fact that if you have oilier eyelids, using something like a primer just to kind of help it stay in place would make it work a lot better. I'm really happy with it. I'm actually considering getting a couple more shades because I like it so, 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 so very much. If you want to learn more about this product and look at all the different shades, make sure you do go to the link in my description box. And while you're there, check out that Join Avon button to see if becoming an Avon representative up here in Canada is right for you. Reach out if you want more information or if you just want to chat about it. All right, guys, I love you so very, very, very much. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys, stay well, stay safe, and stay fantastic. Be kind. Bye!